Look, they're all pointing. Yeah, someone's on top of the roof. Look. There he is right there. Right there, see him? He's laying down, see him? Yeah, he's laying down. And Scott, I'm here with you, fighting like hell to get a sentence. What's happening? And this guy's still going to take back. Yeah, look. And it's there he is. Because we have millions and millions oh, sure. of people yes, in our country that shouldn't be here. Dangerous people. Criminals. Oh, sure. We have yeah. criminals. He's we on have the roof. He's not. We have people that right should not be here. Right here. Right on the roof. It's much He's tougher than it happened. He went right on the roof for that. So as a Canadian right now traveling in the U.S., um, we're currently in Texas. I am absolutely disgusted with the news about the assassination attempt on Donald Trump yesterday and what some of the people are saying. Um, for the American viewers, let me just show you a picture. If this was really staged, you can see one bullet hole attempt um, to the chest, which I'm guessing he had a bulletproof vest on. And then you can also see a bullet hole in President Trump's ears. Now, if you're wondering and asking why am I, as a Canadian, even commenting on this, it's because a uh, tweet went absolutely viral this morning uh, of a Canadian professor and another Canadian dumbass um, basically stating this. Let me just show you. So this thing wrote, when four inches really matters, and then this MK Ultra thing looking says, damn, so close to bad. Then of course a masked person, because in Canada, people are still getting the you know what, and they're on their eighth or ninth booster, because that's how insane they are, um, says this, and I'm not even gonna read it so I don't get taken off. Thing number one, where the thing works, and then whatever this thing is, is actually a UBC professor at a medical school. Now, the absolute unhinged comments I received last time for basically saying that the Canadian healthcare system is a failure because it's socialized and that we have no doctors and that Canadian graduates, doctors are a joke. This, this is why I said this. But I received death threats on both sides. Whereas the American populace was trying to figure out why I was um, dissing the Canadian um, system. And then there were normal people who absolutely understood and had my back. Um, but this is why I'm saying this. Now, for those of you who are like, oh, well, what's going on in Vancouver and that area? It's basically MPC Central. It's like San Francisco on welfare. If you ordered San Francisco on welfare off of Wish.com's discount rack. That's Vancouver. And if you think that Canada is a happy country, Canada is the fourth in the world of antidepressant consumption. Let me show you. Here you go, Canada, number fourth in antidepressants, go figure. Also in Vancouver, they freely give out meth, heroin, and cocaine made in labs that are owned by the government because they think that that will decrease like the meth consumption. Now, for those of you Americans who are wondering, oh, what Canada's like, go through my comment section, especially on X, and watch the absolute unhinged idiots come about. Now, for the Vancouver people who really don't understand logic, we're traveling, which means we're in a travel trailer, an RV, a recreational vehicle, because you'll see a bunch of comments saying, oh, she's doing this from a trailer, not even realizing the difference. But then they will also say things like, we care about minorities and people who are not well off, but then they will make fun of the fact that we're in an RV traveling throughout the United States. You see where I'm getting at? Basically, Canada is a communistic shithole that has allowed the degenerates to run the show. And there's a lot of them because what's really funny is these two professors will not be held accountable. But yet, Dr. Peterson, Jordan Peterson, has been held accountable for talking against Justin Trudeau. Tell me that's not a communist country. Now, if you think that we have actual news in Canada, we don't. All of our news is owned by the government and we fund it with our tax money not with commercials, but our own tax money. So now imagine if the United States only had CNN and CNN was the only news source and all the other news sources were like CNN 2, CNN 3, and CNN 4. And Canada has literally thought in its own mind 
that it is the best country in the world, that our healthcare system works, even though it doesn't, if you compare it to like the European socialized systems, it is absolutely broken. And these are the people that push the you know what. And in Canada, there's still people taking like boosters. They're on their ninth and eighth, wearing masks everywhere. Like this is how degenerate it has become to the point where it's almost embarrassing to say that we're from Canada. So we tell people we're from Alberta because honestly, I think it's time that Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Northern BC really talk about separating from the rest of Canada because honestly, we're being dragged down to the other degeneracy level. And if you think that Justin Trudeau will be voted out in 2025, look at what France just did. You guys, you're being sold out to India and China by both sides. That's why none of the papers are being released. And Jagmeet Singh will probably win the election because the liberals and the conservatives are throwing so much garbage at each other and Canadians are so slow in processing things that they will literally vote for Jagmeet Singh. If they take out Christia Freeland and Justin Trudeau, the liberals will definitely win another election. Why? Because, yeah, like, I literally can't anymore. So on behalf of the normal 30% Canadians left, I would like to apologize to the American people if you see this kind of garbage coming out of Canada. They are seriously under some sort of spell up there. So, yeah.